Hello to everyone. Uh, this video is a kind of like a random video that I wanted to get into uh, based on some experience uh, that I've seen, that I've witnessed uh, when it comes to power. Uh, you know how I believe that the sun itself is is the cure for the body itself, for the for the natural body. But it also gives you the ability to realize how powerful the spiritual part of you part of you is as well. And that's why <clears throat> excuse me, that's why Solomon, you know, said in Ecclesiastes chapter uh, eleven verse seven, uh, it is good for the eyes to behold the sun. Because once you gaze upon it, uh, you'll realize that you're not just helping out the natural body itself, but you're actually helping out the inner body, the inner man itself. But you have to put things in perspective, and I tell people that, and I, I really want to make sure that it's very clear. You keep Christ first. You have to keep him first through his God himself, through his son Christ. No one can get to the Father except through Christ, okay? If you don't put things in the perspective, you won't be able to unleash the true power. It'll just be for your own good, and that's satanic. That's evil can't do that so if the body is being if the body is becoming more aware or uh, what I would say you you will realize that the body itself can understand the Sun and how it, and it reacts to the Sun don't worship the Sun don't idolize it and and I'm just saying, I may have to make this video because I experienced uh, what I've witnessed uh, a brother uh, showed me something that, that, he, that he's done because he has been more spiritual, he's been more in the word and what he showed me was it was this guy at his job that had this scanner he would scan the mail it would load up to this device and the device was supposed to load the information to a mainframe but the actual portable device was malfunctioning and what the brother said to the guy that had the scanner he said hey man let me touch this scanner real quick I believe that I can fix it by just touching it and when he touched the scanner and as I looked, the scanner started to load. It started to work. And the guy that had the scanner in his hand, he was amazed. He was like, what, what did you do? How did you do this? He was just like so, he was astonished. And the person that did it was astonished too. He was like, man, I, are you serious? It's working? So, and, he, and this guy has been beholding the sun. He's been reading into the scriptures. He's been trying to live holy as possible. You know, we still, you know, people still make mistakes. But the thing about that is when you have, the, once you, you see, you got to understand the brain itself is like an antenna and the so-called gland that they call pineal is, is, it has junk on it, which is calcium. And once you start to chisel that calcium off that gland, you can, your, your reception when it comes to spirituality will become amplified as it was before when Eve when Adam and Eve was able to hear the most high in the cool of the day when he spoke uh, who told us thou was naked he, he heard the most high he didn't see him he heard him because he didn't have all that stuff on his brain people will say they hearing things and all that but you'll be you're considered you're classified as as a person that's crazy, if you keep saying, if you, if you go to some normal person that don't know, that, that the regular layman that don't understand, they would say, well, he's crazy. He's, there's something wrong. And then what society do, so-called psychiatrists and all this, they they know exactly what's going on with you. A lot of these so-called psychiatrists and all that, they, they're nothing but people that understand what's really going on, but they're just making money off it. So they classify you as somebody crazy and put you in a home somewhere because they don't want you to go out 
and use powers. Because I'm going to tell you, if Christ was living today in this time, he would be considered a crazy person. You got to understand, and this is very important and very serious what I'm about to say. Just, just look at the actual overall view of Christ. There was a man walking on water. There was a man that believed that he needed to die for everyone else. Put stakes in his hands. Crown his head. He got he allowed mankind to crown his head with thorns to mock him as a king. Pierced his side. Nails in his feet. He bloodshed it for every person in the world which means they have a chance now the concept alone is not for human nature at all if Christ was living today the way scientists had it set up these psychiatrists and all these so called doctors and all that they would label Christ today as first of all crazy and a fool to think that he can die for everybody's sins think about it so I'm saying it and I'm putting it that putting it that way is because there are people in the world now that can heal themselves, but they don't understand it can because they are taught, which is crazy, the reverse actually to believe that another person can heal your body. This person don't even have the same fingerprints you got. Who is this person just because he's practicing medicine, practicing his his craft? He don't know you. No. Jeremiah 17 and 5. Cursed be the man that trusteth in man and make his flesh his arm. Don't make flesh your arm. You're cursed when you do that. You say, well, what if my pressure goes up? What if I get a headache? I need some medicine. I need an Advil, which is almost like a devil, if you look at it. Uh, I need this pill. I need this medicine. I need this. I have to go to the doctor. My head hurt. I, um, my toe is is limping, and I don't care. Restless restless leg syndrome, and everybody tweaking, and I, my my arm won't stop moving or whatever. These are demons, okay? They're playing on your body period so I don't want to hear that stop it period these are demons they exist they're spirits they make you walk funny they they give you a stroke they give you all type of neurological situations with the brain they want to attack your brain because they know that that is that is the bowl, the golden bowl, which is representing Ecclesiastes. That's the golden bowl. Where golden bowl means that's your brain, where the receptacles are for the spirit. So if they can attack your brain, you got the whole body. They want to take you over. So if they can't take you over and you're too tough, then I'll stroke you out. Okay, bow. Let me hit your left side. Of course, it can be caused by certain foods, but most of the time, you sweat that stuff out. All right, you sweat it out. And I'm, I'm going this route, and I really don't know why. But I just had to make this video because I, I, I know for a fact if people stop making excuses and just be more spiritual, ask God to heal them 100% and believe it, knowing that you know that Christ, if you, if you really believe in Christ, this guy was walking on water, he was healing the sick, raising the dead. And then think about it. People still didn't believe. They wanted to think the other way. Oh, he's Beelzebub. He's some type of warlock. He's a witch, a male witch. So people still didn't believe. He was putting God first, but then they got mad because he said he was the son of God. Our own people couldn't believe that, knowing that in Isaiah he was supposed to come. So they knew. But see, the Pharisees and the scribes at that time that were set up was against Christ. They knew that he was going to come. But they, they just like, look, this is what they were talking about. Now we're going to kill this guy. So it was set for us for him to be killed. And they've been killing us since. With all type of Tuskegee experiments. In the Congos. Uh, with the so-called AIDS 
HIV hoax. All this stuff is to dumb you down, make you so-called scared, health awareness, whatever. I don't need your health or your awareness. I'm aware of your health. Your health is to deplete mine, period. So I don't need none of your pride. Look, if my tooth is messed up or whatever, I ask the most high to heal it. I'm sitting, I, I had an experience because I'm a so-called vegetarian now. I don't eat meat. And uh, I guess because I, like I said, I have a, a messed up tooth. It's like a, it's cracked off. And, and you know, I try to chew on it sometimes. And I guess a piece of broccoli or something, vegetable got stuck inside. And I didn't know. And it was, therefore, many of me started to ache. I'm like, man, hold up. <clears throat> Actually make me angry. I'm like, man, this thing, I know this thing ain't aching. So it actually made me angry. And I asked the most high, like, look, please heal me. And, and I got a little angry. I put my hand on my face. Excuse me. And I said, look, get out of my body. You ain't got no place here. I don't care what your problem is. Wrong dude, wrong person. And then it started to dissipate. It started to slowly go away. So... I put some, you know, I got some natural type, very innocent, you would call uh, a mouthwash. It's, it's like a, I forgot what brand it is. It's an antiseptic. It's not, it don't have fluoride, fluoride and all that stuff in it. Put it in there It's and it's clearing up. It's, I don't have an ache at all now. We can heal ourselves through the most high, through Christ, which strengthens us. He's the one that strengthens us. Period. Don't ask nobody to do it. It's not. See, you got to understand when, when people believe it, they say they believe in Christ. You shouting all up in the church and all this and you get sick. You run off and call. You call medic. You call your doctor. Hey, yeah, my heart is skipping. I don't. Can I make an appointment? You all. <laughs> then you pray later. No, you're supposed to pray and ask the most how to heal. You ain't got to go to no doctor. I'm not saying you shouldn't. If you break your arm, then yeah. And you can't. You don't have. You know, they got all that. They can fix your arm, but years ago, somebody break their arm, they put it back themselves too. You can heal yourself. We we had just become docile and reliant on other people, and that's evil. Actually, that's a that's an evil spirit. It's it's called the spirit of fear. And when you have the spirit of fear, now spirits can play on your mind. So, you know, and I I guess I talk about this a lot because you know I lost. You know a lot of people in my family you know I lost my mom when I was nine uh, 2002 you know I lost my father you know uh, they were you know my father was older um, but they went and you know because he had brain cancer they went in his brain and gave him a stroke oh this stuff happens you know nah you messed up y'all don't know what y'all doing period so you know I had you know I know another brother um, Stephen Giroux they giving him to run around like a chicken with his head cut off there he don't know which way to go because these people don't know what they're doing he's he has ms they don't know or they don't care when it comes to to so to, to black people they must don't uh and i'm sure that i know they don't you know now i'm not going to say all doctors but a lot of them don't care about black people but we all running off to them like they somebody they don't know what they're doing. They lie to you and tell you, well, there's no hope for you for this. And, you know, we try, but your body is doing this and that and blah, blah, blah. Be quiet. Don't tell me that. Because all, all it's going to do is make me angry. Because And then I try to tell our people, look, get into the scriptures. Ask Christ to heal you. I'm, I'm going to tell you, sickness, I'm the wrong person for sickness to try to jump on. I'm the wrong person. Even, I'm not saying that I'm invincible, but I guarantee you this. As much sun that I have absorbed, if you look, I think I've gotten like two shades black. <laughs> two shades darker. I am not playing with sickness. I can care less about it. I can care less somebody was like, man, you're talking about Christians. You know, somebody going to kill you for these videos. But bring it. I'm not. Hey, look, I will tell the person, look, Christianity is slavery. Being a Christian in the Bible is believing in Christ as the disciples believed. There's a difference. 
and my videos clarify that so these people that that bulldoze and and bullfrog into, into my videos don't understand what they're talking about they need to look at it make sure and be prudent and hum, humble themselves before they make comments and sometimes it irritates me sometimes when i see negative comments i don't even i'm not going to delete it but i'll just look at it i'm not going to respond to it because i don't have time for foolishness look at the things pay attention to what i'm saying then I ask this per person the question, do you put up a Christmas tree? Yes. Aren't you following paganism? It's pagan. You're following slavery. That's a slave mentality. Period. They put it on us as slavery. We're not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. If you want to be a Christian, if you want to speak in some tongue and you don't have a interpreter, that's on you. That's the spirit that's on you. I'm not dealing with it because I know the origin of it. So I'll tell any Christian, I don't care who you are, if you don't follow the scriptures, follow the commandments as it is written, and you're following traditions of man, you are following Satan. If you got a problem with it, click the right X. Click the X at the top to the right. That's where I'm at. I'm not going to get into no arguments with nobody. I'm not debating nothing. There's no debate because you can't debate truth. It's in the scriptures. Colossians 2 and 8 tell you that. You don't supposed to follow the traditions of man. It's written in, plain and simple. If a man make up Christmas and you follow it based on the 25th and you think it's okay and you're saying that you're following Christ, you're not. You're following paganism. You can't mix the two together. You can't eat off the cup of the Lord's and the cup of Satan's. And, you know, it, you can't do both. You can't do both at the same time. That's how you know we're in the last church. We're in the church of the spirit of the Laodicean church. You're neither hot or cold. You're lukewarm. So since you're lukewarm, since you want to be on both sides, I'm going to spoo you out of my mouth. That's what the Most High is saying. So you're going to believe in the commandments. You're going to believe in Christ as it is written in the scriptures. Or you're going to get spewed out of his mouth. He's going to throw you up like you're garbage. You make him sick. That's what he's saying. Don't deal with it. It's evil. Don't deal with Easter. Don't deal with Christmas. Don't deal with putting up a Christmas tree with the Nimrod's tree. To, to represent Nimrod, don't put no tree up in because you're you're following the customs of the heathens. Read Jeremiah chapter ten. It's in there. Stop jumping on people that make videos against the Christian spell, the Christianity that's that that is orchestrated today to dumb you down, to keep you under a spell. That's what it is. That's what they're doing. They're hypnotizing people. So, you know, and, you know, I just had to go this route because people, they, they bulldoze. Wrong person. They ain't gonna work for me. Guns, I, ain't, I don't care about all that. They don't, I'm not, when am I my fear? I mean, you're gonna die anyway, so I might as well die with speaking about Christ. So, that don't scare me. Uh, and most of my video, I'm by myself anyway. I mean, of course, I got people that I'm cool with. I have a, you know, like I said, I got a little small Mustang club, you know. But I'm like, yeah, hey, what's what's gonna happen? The most high protection. He keeps the hedge over you. When it's time for you to go, I don't care how much protection you got, you gonna go. <laughs> it ain't up to you. The most high is in control. Man, think they in, he's in control. He's not. Just because the Most High say ye are gods don't mean that you are the God over your life. He's the God over you. What he did was give you his power. That's what he did. He gave you his power from the beginning. But it's up to you if you want to be like Satan and, and fall from heaven and be like him. Or you can be like you're supposed to be and, and help others, draft others to Christ. As it is written in the Bible. Not Santa Claus, not Easter, not Valentine's Day, not Fourth of July, and all these other pagan customs and 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 uh observance. We don't supposed to observe none of that stuff or acknowledge it or think it's okay to deal with it, deal with it partially. It's evil. Okay? So this is a quick I don't know how quick this is. It's 19 minutes and almost 20 minute video. 
Uh, this is my life, and I'll be doing this for the rest of it. Shalom.